A live look at downtown Redwood City where a lot of people just had their last meal out or got their last haircut. Some new stay at home restrictions take effect in less than an hour in San Mateo County. Napa and Solano counties will also be covered by the order. This is why ICU availability is just above 13% across the Bay Area. And looking live at SFO, where a lot of people's travel plans got even more complicated, beginning, beginning in about an hour. Anyone traveling to San Francisco from outside of the Bay Area will be required to quarantine. As KPIX 5's Betty U reports, the health officer says the surge is a grave situation, but we can start turning it around. Betty? And Liz, many travelers who just landed here at SFO are just learning of the city's new mandatory travel order to quarantine for 10 days. The hope is that this can help avoid a surge from travel over Christmas and New Year's. Nicholas Toda is home from medical school in Michigan. It's definitely nice to know that um, there's going to be some rules in place to where I'm just going to be at home and, and kind of laying low for a bit. I was actually already planning on doing about a 10 day kind of stay at home, uh, whether or not it was required. I think given the lockdown, it made additional sense to stay home because there's not a lot we can do. Though San Francisco is faring better than other parts of California and most of the country, it's still averaging 242 COVID cases per day, the highest average since the pandemic began. And since Thanksgiving, cases have increased by 50%. I know that this is hard. And I know this is yet another sacrifice in almost 10 months into this pandemic. But we are at a stage that was unfathomable just a year ago. Remember, we have lost more people in this country due to COVID-19 than Americans who died in World War II. The city did not say how it would enforce the order, but said violation is a misdemeanor, punishable by fine, imprisonment, or both. This traveler, who declined to give us his name, was not happy about it. They're taking my, my, my rights away. There's nothing in the Constitution that gives them the right to do what they're doing. This is truly um, not the time to travel. The consequences are severe, and we just ask that people understand that and comply with the health order because it's the right thing to do. Now, medical professionals, first responders, people on official government business or doing critical infrastructure work are exempt from this order. It will remain in effect through January 4th. Live at SFO, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.